Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how I got this bronzy, glowy makeup look using all e.l.f. products. So I'm going right in with the new e.l.f. Power Grip Primer and I'm applying it directly onto my skin and blending it in. I've heard this is similar to the Milk Hydro Grip Primer but I've never tried it before so I don't have anything to compare it to. But my first impression of this primer is that it's really sticky but it does feel really smooth on my skin. So I'm just applying this all over my face and this is how my skin looks after it's been applied. Now I'm doing my eyebrows using the ultra precise brow pencil in the shade neutral brown. This has been my favorite eyebrow pencil and I've been using this for months now. So if you're looking for a new brow pencil to try, I highly recommend this one. It's really easy to use and super affordable. For brow gel, I'm going in with their WOW Brow Gel in Neutral Brown. I've also been really loving this brow gel. I know some people aren't a fan of brow gels that have color, but I don't have an issue with it and I think it works really well. Now to clean up my brows, I'm going in with the Hydrating Camel Concealer in the shade Medium Peach and I'm just carving out my brows and then blending the concealer down to the rest of my eyelid to create a base for my eyeshadow. To set the concealer, I'm using the Halo Glow setting powder for the first time. It is really important that you set your concealer, so when you add eyeshadow, it's super smooth and easy to blend. Now for my eyeshadow, I'm using the Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette, and I don't know the name of this one because I took the sticker off and I couldn't find it online, but it has these pretty bronzy colors and I am starting with a warmer matte shade and just blending this into my crease. I like to do circular motions and then blend it outwards to create an illusion of bigger eyes and then blend it into my crease and up towards my brow. Next I'm using the warmer shimmery shade and applying this all over my lid. Then for the wing liner I'm going to use eyeshadow and I'll be using the darker matte shade to create that and I'm using a MAC flat angled brush. applied some lashes off camera and now for foundation I'm using the camo CC cream and I'm in the shade light and I'm applying this directly onto my skin and using the elf complexion dual brush to buff it in For concealer, I'm using the Hydrating Camel Concealer and I like to use two shades, Medium Peach and Light Peach. What I like to do is use Medium Peach in all the areas I want to brighten and then Light Peach only under my eyes. And to blend all that in, I'm using the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge, which is one of my favorite sponges I've used so far.
to set my concealer, I'm going back in with the Halo Glow Setting Powder. And my first impression is that it's really fine, which I like, because it really sets into my under eye creases and it's really lightweight. For bronzer, I'm also trying out a new product I haven't tried before, which is their Primer Infused Bronzer in the shade Forever Sunkissed. And my first impression is that it's really pigmented and easy to blend. I also really like the color. It's the perfect neutral warm shade that I would usually go for. I think this is for sure going to be my new go-to bronzer. It looks really good and I love how matte it is. Going back to the eyes, I'm finishing it off by applying some eyeshadow to my lower lash line and then adding some mascara. For blush, I'm using this e.l.f. blush, I forgot the name of it, but it's this peachy cream to powder blush and I'm applying this on my cheeks and over my nose. Then going over it with the Studio Blush in the shade Mellow Mauve. Then I'm setting my face with the Mist and Set Spray. And since I don't have an e.l.f. lip liner or lipstick, I did my lips off camera and the lip combo I used was MAC Cosmetics Lip Liner in Cork and Lipstick in Yash. Now I'm just adding the Lip Lacquer in the shade Fantasy and that completes the look. I really love how this makeup look turned out. My skin looks so smooth and flawless. I'm really impressed with the primer, bronzer, and setting powder. That is it for this makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please comment down below what other videos you would like to see. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!